this is Marta Spire Scandalo and I would like you to join us for these few coming minutes in which we're going to meet Martin Formosa. Martin, thank you for having us over this morning. Uh, I can see that uh, you like working in pastels. Yes. Can you tell us something about them, please? Um, pastel is uh, my favorite medium. Previously, I used to paint in oils mm -hmm. and uh, in pencil. But um, then, uh, after seeing my brother, uh, late brother, uh, John, who used to uh, paint with pastels. pastels, after he died, um, then my mother told me, why don't you take this box of pastel? And I brought it to my house, and uh, I was interested in a book which he had uh, as regards uh, starting painting with pastel. Uh -huh. And uh, in fact, I tried some paintings, some studies, and uh, abruptly I it switched. It was your turning point. Yes, I switched to pastel. I, I fell in love with this medium, and uh, up to today, uh, up to date, uh, I'm still painting mostly in pastel. In pastel. We were in an exhibition of the Malta Society of Arts. Uh -huh. I met uh, other enthusiasts of pastel. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we decided to set up a society to enhance more interest in, uh, in this medium. Because in Malta, unfortunately... Uh, you think there's a lack of... Uh, yes, uh, people does not appreciate uh, pastels, pastels as much as, as, much they, as, as they should. And, and what the, about the properties of pastels? Uh, do they last longer than other fact, mediums? In fact, uh, that is the, um, the, the versatility of this medium, because uh -huh. it's the most permanent uh, medium. You can, you can If you match it. it with oils or with watercolor, uh -huh. uh, they both fade or um, uh, change by, by in time. time. In time. But uh, uh, fortunately, pastel does not change because it does not uh, have uh, other additives. It is only pure pigment. Okay, uh, the only you... thing you have to do with pastel is either to frame it immediately uh -huh. or you, you, you spray it with fixative. But if you spray it, uh, if you spray it then uh, the, the tones of the color will change a bit. A bit. And I hate spraying because I want to conserve the colors which I painted with. Originally. And so I frame it immediately and then it's safe and it will last forever. Well, you, you put the glass over it yes, and it's yes, locked there yes. forever, I see. Um, Martin, what can you tell us about your very beginnings? How did you, how did you realize that the painting was inside? <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember my first my, my, my first paintings, but okay. uh, from the primary school, I remember me drawing um, for other students. Uh -huh. um, I remember, for example, painting a caveman, and everyone wanted, wanted a, the one. caveman. Uh -huh. Then, uh, when I went at the secondary school, uh, there I had art lessons. Uh -huh. But later on, uh, then I used to attend lessons uh, during the breaks, especially because uh -huh. I had commercial subjects and uh, I, I wanted to learn art. And so I used to go to uh, art lessons by George Fennick. Uh, so, so you, uh, yes, he at, was uh, one of the people who uh -huh. pushed you? I attended also pottery lessons. Uh -huh. And there uh, maybe I uh, uh, met clay and today I also uh, sculpt in clay oh. and sometimes I uh, uh, transform them in bronzes. And uh, I think you, you mentioned that you work in wood as well. Yes, I used to do sculpture in wood. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, this, um, this one city is done by me. Is your work? Yes, Very good. yes. Exhibitions? Have you exhibitions, taken part I, in exhibitions? I took uh, part in a lot of exhibitions, especially at the Malta Arts uh, Society. Uh -huh. But then, uh, in 2012, I also did my first solo exhibition. Uh, uh, the, I believe you have this yes, book. Which that, you... that book was published uh, for that occasion. That's and very it was very successful for me. It, you, it was done at the Cavalieri Art Hotel. Uh -huh. And uh, I hope that in a few months' time, maybe, I will do another exhibition together with an Italian artist. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, uh, and we will share 
this, this space between us. Is there uh, some kind of advice you would give to people who are starting off? Look, um, I think that art is an, an international language. And with art you can present yourself everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, your language is understood all over the world. Um, in fact, I get uh, a lot of comments from my website. Uh, uh -huh, where good. Yes, where I have some of my paintings. Uh -huh. And uh, I also encourage people uh, starting painting to attend either for our lessons of the Pastel Society, uh -huh. where we give uh, advice to persons who are interested in that medium. Mm -hmm.